The city of Seattle, just like every big city, wants to market itself a certain way to visitors and tourists. And in the city of Seattle's case, they want to put themselves in this pedestal of the progressive utopian paradise that all other cities should aspire to be like. However, what would happen if their marketing was a little bit more honest? Well, to help them out in that process and that effort, we have a couple of ideas and suggestions that I think you're going to like. Thank you for watching. My name is Glenn Morgan, and this is We the Govern. So as we kind of teased in the beginning, uh, this is a story about how to help Seattle be maybe a little bit more honest in how they present themselves to the public. Because after all, if you go and visit Seattle, this isn't what you're gonna see, even if these are the images that you might find if you search for them out there on the web or you look around and you've never been to Seattle before and all you know is Matt Rainier and the Space Needle or something like that. So I thought that we would, uh, as somebody who lives in the Pacific Northwest and grew up not far from Seattle, and my great-great-grandmother helped start the Pike Place Market in downtown Seattle. I feel like I have some ties up here and always like to help them out if I can. I thought that we could start to look at some of the iconic images in Seattle and see how they're being sold to the public. For instance, let's look at the Seattle Public Library, which really is a very interesting and neat place to go and visit. If you are visiting Seattle, it's one of those places you should stop in and see. It's an archive architectural um, wonder in a way. I mean, it's really kind of neat to go in there and see it. It is a neat place. However, uh, just like anything else in Seattle, the what you see on the surface is not exactly what it is when you go and visit. And there's been a lot of problems as documented by the media, which oftentimes tries to downplay this stuff with uh, a lot of problems in the Seattle Public Library system with uh, drug abuse and opioid uh, abuse and all kinds of other problems. Recently, uh, with the rising fentanyl deaths, uh, Seattle libraries actually now prohibit the overdose reversal drug, uh, Narcan, to be used in the library, even though it's extensively needed and uh, there's just a lot of other problems going on. So here's my suggestion of what I think might be a little bit better marketing campaign that they could use that would assist them in their efforts. And so this is my free marketing suggestion to the uh, Seattle Public Library system. And just pointing out that uh, the Seattle Public Library, it's more than just a place where you can smoke fentanyl. They also have books. I thought that would be helpful for them. And uh, they can take that idea and they can run with it. Uh, they can take this exactly as it is, or they can uh, upgrade a little bit with their high price consultants. But it's kind of an idea of maybe improving some of the situations that people are experiencing in the Seattle Public Library. Uh, let's talk about the Metro bus. Now, I've done a number of videos before about uh, riding a bus in Seattle and the adventure that that has become. Of course, if you go to the King County Metro bus uh, website when they want to talk to you about what it's like riding a bus, they show you a picture like this. I mean, that'd be like what you would expect if you got on the bus in Federal Way like I used to do as a kid and ride up into Seattle. And uh, this is kind of what you would uh, hope to see. That's the image that they present to you on their website. Of course, the reality now is quite a bit different. There's extensive problems with drug use and violence on the buses and many concerns lately and been reports in the media of them basically being turned into mobile drug dens and a good place to dump a lot of your garbage after you've been shooting up and with uh, uh, meth or heroin or fentanyl or whatever, falling asleep on the bus, having to remove them in the end and all kinds of violence. So we thought that it might be helpful to uh, provide a little bit uh, of warning to people who want to ride this bus and have the adventure that they will have when they get on there. And uh, so basically something like this, maybe, you know, uh, King County Metro, this is one I made up for him, but King County Metro, uh, we don't require you to wear a bulletproof vest, but it's not a bad idea. Couldn't hurt. So something like this, I think, would uh, give them an option to just help give a better experience for people who are going to be interested in riding the bus and get the full experience that that entails. All kinds of ideas are out there. Uh, I think Seattle gives us lots of opportunities. Uh, we could look at the parks. Seattle has promoted itself for many years as the, uh, and they're well known for their parks. And if you look at all these parks in Seattle, they're frequently filled with homeless camps. And so they could say that uh, camping's illegal in Seattle's parks. But if you go ahead and pitch a tent and dump a bunch of garbage, nothing's going to happen to you anyway. So come on and visit. Or perhaps we could look at the waterways in Seattle and notice that all these drug needles and garbage are being dumped in there. And uh, it's not very environmentally friendly, but that's the Seattle way. And uh, we could point out that Seattle, maybe it's something in the water. 
We've got lots of opportunities here, and I know that if you're watching this video, you probably have lots of good ideas too. So please add it in the comments below. You can email me at my website at wethegovern.com. Send me your ideas or suggestions or critiques of this, and uh, maybe we'll take some of the better ideas and uh, do another video on those in the future. And I'd love to send some of these ideas over to our friends in Seattle, working in these agencies, giving them some ideas and some better uh, marketing campaigns that might be a little bit more honest than uh, the approach they currently take today. So uh, I do appreciate your feedback and remember the one thing I always tell anybody who wants to be an activist and get out there and make a difference in their community, the future belongs to those who show up.